let's move on to something else around here. That's not the safe house. Gigs are all over on that side. Wanna check out a gig? This one's a little bit far off. Let's... So, where's your place? Oh, here and there. Hmm. Yeah, don't tell people where you live. That's probably a bad idea. I didn't update Mr. Hands on what happened with Lena Molina. Because it wasn't an official job for him, so he doesn't know. Whew. See why you had your doubts. Client wasn't Lena Molina, but the co-owner of Brainporium, Edgar Tool. Guy had a freak BD wreath accident. Thought he was a BD star. Thankfully, managed to convince him otherwise. I see. Would you like a pat on the back? A 21-gun salute? Well, you can have my mildest congratulations. Now kindly return to work. I'm just letting you know what's up. No need to be rude. Alright, what's going on here? Is this the journalist one or another one? Another one. V, in Luxor Heights, there's a... Let's call it a sports academy. Clients from all around the world come there to seek fresh talent. Contracts are signed while taxes allegedly go unpaid. It so happens that my client doesn't like people who cut corners. With my Netrunner's help, you'll enter the facility and extract the data that's of import to my client. Godspeed. Hopefully not from the burning part of the building, yeah? Gig objective. Acquire Fiona Vargas's client data. At the Center for Neuromotor Development, Site 341. Can you believe some people avoid paying their taxes? Shocking, I know. Who's guilty of such heinous crimes, you might ask? Sports scouts who fly in from all across the globe to the center run by Fiona Vargas. They sign contracts with promising athletes, wire sizable transfers, and dodge taxes while they're at it. Our client isn't thrilled. You'll be acquiring any data linked to Fiona's clients and their contracts. Getting in won't be easy, which is why you'll have the help of my netrunner near the site. Best of luck, V. We have help today. That's rare. He doesn't think I can do it on my own? Are we allowed to go at nighttime? That would be a good time to try to steal some data, I think, but... Depends on the person we meet. Are they agreeable? Should I let the camera see me? Your hands murk, right? How much you know about the job? Eh, not much. Hands mentioned something about athletes and peeps evading taxes. Here's the sitch. At this academy, they're training, molding young athletes. Folks flying from across the world to meet them, sign contracts. You're going in as a scout for the San Diego Shredders. Name's Victoria Wilson, 28, and you're looking for a wide receiver. Scheduling you in their system now. You following all this? I'm not going in stealthily, I'm going in as a person. This guy's a no chit chat kind of guy. Got it. San Diego Shredders, Victoria Wilson, 28 years old, looking for a wide receiver. Well done. Just remember to keep a tight lip, no unnecessary chatter. Oh, Once Lord. you're in, find Fiona Varga's office, the Academy's director, and pull data on every scout who's ever signed a contract. Questions? I really need to go and change my... I want to try the optical camo sometime. I gotta go back to a ripper dock before going on to the next gig next time. What's a sports academy doing in Dogtown? Ah, they're all over the world. They make athletes stronger, better. But if you want to enhance them earlier than the legal age limit, where would you go? Where no one gives a shit. Or as it's more commonly known, Dogtown. Whatever Hansen says, goes. And nobody gives a fuck about the rest. Does that mean that Dogtown athletes are more legal and therefore better? They should be performing better than everyone else. Uh, cover story is a little thin. Ought to flesh it out, don't you think? No need. It's your way in, nothing more. Beyond that, avoid any talk about yourself. Just blend in, get the data, and get out. I'm a corpo, so hopefully that'll help with the blending in part. Hands a tax collector now? Yeah, I ain't buying it. How about shitload of Eddie's collector? Sound more believable? Job isn't glamorous, but it pays. Somebody's got to do the job. Arasaka demons? Not easy to come by. How'd you know they're Arasaka? 
X counter intel. Third branch. X cybersec. First. Looks like we both took a wrong turn somewhere. Sorry. I'm Baird. V. Okay. Quick scan and... We're in. System recognized you. Should be able to waltz straight in. Good luck. Thanks, man. I feel like we must have talked about this throughout the 100 cyberpunk videos in the main playthrough, but V's name... V's real name isn't V, right? But it, I guess just having the letter V is good for avoiding detection, avoiding people recognizing you and all that to begin with. And also good for them having a word to say when, you know, you could be male or female. <laughs> Don't have to think about the gender. I have a keycard. This is 2 a.m. in the morning. Am I allowed to be here at 2 in the morning? The answer is yes. Uh, Victoria, what was my cover again? Victoria Wilson, Hello. 28. Clara Molina, Atletico Barcelona. You're all set. From what I see, your connection quality with the verbal motoric integrated interface is excellent. Is that person a robot? Should you experience any latency, please report it to maintenance. Now, if you'll continue into the main room. These people robots. Welcome, Mrs. Wilson. If you'll join me, please. One second. User manual. Verbal motoric integrated interface. Remote connection to the interface's steering controls sent to every user is nearly instantaneous. Signal delay in the transmission is contingent on the user's connection and distance from the bot's interface. Intercontinental connections have more latency than those only hundreds of miles. The higher the latency, the greater the risk of the user experiencing motion sickness. Upon disconnecting from the interface, users may have momentary side effects. Desynchronized senses after disconnecting, headaches, photosensitivity, heart palpitations. Contacting a ripper doc is advised if any of the above symptoms last longer than half an hour after disconnecting from the interface. Oh, verbal motoric interface. Center for Neural Motor Development is one of the most advanced facilities dedicated to shaping young athletes. We scout for talent and invest a lot of time and resources to ensure that sports clubs around the world have a steady stream of athletes to excite the fans. Are you looking for an athlete whose performance, natural talent and charisma will attract advertisers? You've come to the right place. Empty promises, you say? Maybe you've heard of AI Ford, Mark Elway, and Monica Diaz? Every one of them is a graduate of our center and was molded by the expertise of our very own Dr. Fiona Vargas. This sounds sinister already. These are robots. Hi. Uh, what is it? Everything you see here is protected under an NDA. Should any information about our athletes be made public, our contract with the Diego Shredders will be terminated, effective immediately. Ouch, sounds serious. If I may, I suggest you start your visit at our world-class bar. Drinks are on the house. Well then, got my first mission for you. Need you to neutralize three shots of tequila, stat. I will. I will. Who's using these bots? Our verbal motoric integrated interface is used by scouts such as yourself remotely from Asia, Europe, Africa. Since not everyone can make a personal appearance in Dogtown, we've provided a solution. Oh, so it's like a VR headset, but a whole person to walk around. I'd like to speak with Dr. Fiona Vargas in private. Hmm. Without an appointment, I'm afraid that won't be possible. What a shame. Thank you, though. Thank you. I'll go to the bar. The bar, of course, is this way, right? No one's checking. I can take that. Ooh. 2077-78 season presentation, our objective. Mark, listen. I'll give it to you straight. Sign a contract with literally anyone. Fiona produces exceptional athletes and she does it consistently. That much is obvious. You don't have to sign the next AI Ford, just any kid of theirs that shows potential. Any European boxing league would be lucky to have these brats. I only ask one thing. Make sure whatever little shit we sign has a three-year ACL warranty. Not long ago, Arasaka released a god-awful series and a ton of athletes got injured. Better safe than sorry. Now go get them. 
So these athletes are better than the rest, but we we kind of buy them here. Buy them? Well, scout, they sign them. I'm a scout. I came here to find people with talent and I sign them. They go over to wherever they go to and they don't represent Dogtown. So that's why it doesn't stick out as, hey, how come Dogtown athletes are all so good? I will walk around in the public area first. There's a guard here. I don't think we need to um, obsessively obsess about everyone yet. Although I see you have some nice equipment there. Huh. Got some nice stuff in the back. Hi, Mr. Guard. He's in athlete's feet. They're kids. Kids way too young for this kind of crow. See that, Johnny? Ladies Heartless and gentlemen, fucks. the next junior for the 2077-2078 season is Katie McCannon. Katie is a young but extremely talented soccer player, top scoring position, midfielder. She's equipped with permanently reinforced ACLs and boasts excellent quadricep growth. ACLs. If you're interested in Katie, please see our starting offer. You can also see her latest performance statistics up on the board. Yeah, they're basically selling kids here. I want to say talent. A kid's initial talent probably still matters to a degree. But when we talk about people who are... Who perform well at the center, maybe it's more due to their... Mm, what do you call it? Compatibility with the chrome. Statistics are live. In just a moment, you'll see another rating. Yeah, because they're all chromed up. These are not natural talents. We read this one. It really just feels like selling kids. Mm -hmm. I'd also connect remotely if I didn't have to go to Ninth City straight after. Oh, business or pleasure? Both, I hope. Yeah. Okay, there are places we can go to. Hopefully where no one sees, but... This concept of the the robot thing, how come this is the only place we've seen it? Is this supposed to be super advanced technology? Oh my gosh, sushi, I'm hungry. <gasps> People just leaving sushi, perfectly good sushi, lying out there like that. One condition. During the transfer, you loan Kowalski out to us. Fine. Just remember, a loan's a loan. And Don't another. let me hear about any poaching, got it? Well, I, I, it does feel like selling kids, but their conversations really do revolve around the sports side of things. But maybe it's the, the age that's the big problem here, because they're enhancing these kids. See a free spot on the other side with your name on it. There's an age, an age limit. They can't be too young before you start doing the whole chrome stuff on them. And they're not and adhering to it. Oh good, I'm still wearing my fancy outfit. Be right with you, ma'am. It's actually perfect, because I would probably look out of places on Merc here. Our next athlete, whom you'll have the pleasure of meeting, is Kelvin Golden Strickland. Kelvin These uh, died in the showcases have been often. Only when Dr. Vargas thinks an athlete's worth showing off. Which is pretty victory. odd. So she's really good at chroming people up then, chroming kids up. Dr. Fiona ever make an appearance at these things? Nah, she's not really the type to mingle. Prefers sitting cooped up in her office downstairs. Downstairs, I see. Can I get a double shot of scents on tequila? Here you go. First time I take it. Which team you scouting for? Diego Shredders, of course. In just a moment, you'll see another rating. This I can say. I'm with the San Diego Shredders, scouting for a wide receiver. You say the Shredders? Small world. I'm Caden. Oh Work no. With Tomas two seasons. <laughs> Vicky Wilson. Wait, shopping for another wideout after re-signing your franchise stats leader? Man's an all-time deep threat. Uh, uh, what's his name? Me and my big mouth. Player that good? Wouldn't forget the name. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> no, but uh, 
Seriously, and uh, another. what's his name? I won't believe it, but uh, it slipped my mind, too. <laughs> ah, huh. you don't say. Uh-oh. Hey, uh, you wouldn't remember Tom's last name, would you? <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm being questioned here? Right. And another. Hey, Bill. I'm on it. Uh-oh. Mike, need you here. Stack. Need some extra verification. Follow me, please, ma'am. <sighs> I was just giving information that was part of the cover story. What if I don't feel like it? It ain't up for debate. Got a pat down on the way in. I'm with the San Diego Shredders. So you'll get another one. I don't make the rules, ma'am. That's fine. That's fine. You're gonna take me to somewhere private then, right? Grab it right there, just to make sure I do have a silenced pistol. Yes, with the Her Majesty. All right, all right, got you. Was that guy trying to suss me out on purpose, or did he only become suspicious because I said I didn't know the name? I wonder. Got a real way with words, V. Didn't have anything smart to say when this and asshole another. was grilling me before. Was out of respect. Gave you space to, you know. Express yourself. Look though, he's letting me go in the back for free. Hold your arm out here. I'll transmit a request to Central. Make sure everything's in order. Hold, hold my hand out here. Is this the time where we kill him? There, oh, there's other people here. Now what? Now we. S uh, let's try and see what happens. If the netrunner is good, it'll work. Hmm. Now looking what? good. Intruder! Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Well, I would have liked to look at this place a little bit more. I think this is a shame. All right. If this is going to be the way it is, yeah, but damn it, that bar was my undoing. I feel like you probably couldn't have gone out of that though, because. Okay, I'm just gonna. Because the other option was saying none of your biz, man, which probably would have gotten the bartender suspicious as well, but the guy wouldn't have talked to me at the same time, so I don't know. I'm not sure. Can y'all just forget about me for a little bit while I read the. Would have been nice to walk around a tad more. Sports medicine area, Dr. Fiona Vargas to all. Dear employees, this is a reminder that access to sports medicine level 2 without permission is forbidden. This concerns security staff in particular. No, different door. The sight of armed individuals induces stress in our young charges. Elevated cortisol levels negatively influence athletic performance and I greatly dislike when someone absentmindedly ruins hours of hard work. Sincerely, Fiona Vargas. Door to sports medicine is open. Okay. There's some guards here. Yeah, we're good, we're good. They're on- oh, this is the lower floor, I think. There's a lot of cameras here. Workers. She wants me dead. I can't believe they didn't find me until now. If you don't come, I'm gonna drag your people and hide them. They see me? I'm taking all that. Thanks. Come out with your hands in the air. That guy isn't going past. See, if I kill a guy there, well, I, I don't mind leaving him alone. I'll do the hack first, why don't we? Damn, we barely got- I'm still salty, we barely got to look at this place. There were so many ways I could have gone. Anyway, whatever. 7A, B, D, 1C.
FFE9. 557A. No, looks like the end of the road for us. That's it. Now we know it's downstairs, so did I finish reading this? I didn't finish remote taking over. I could turn them all off after marking everybody. Everyone's on edge. Can we turn off the alarm remote? Where is the alarm? I don't know. Well, the robots are- oh, the robots all disconnected. That's a nice touch. It's like safety for their clients. So it's just a bunch of guards here now. No more conversations for us. There's a net runner here. Yo, my guy Baird wasn't supporting me properly. I thought he would manage the... I was just using his cover story. He was right though, don't talk to people. <laughs> he did tell me not to say anything. That's another guard. I thought it was okay since it was just a, it was part of the story he gave me. All right. I'm just going to turn them all off now. So they give us a choice. Either we replace our arms with say Their dudes haven't they haven't even no Okay, I see. Well, if someone comes in here, they're still going to see this. Cuz the door is transparent. Ah, uh, the moment we got taken to the to the back though, we couldn't have Oh no, 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 no. I didn't want to equip that. Even if I- if I didn't put my hand on the scan, then he would have started shooting at me. I'm just trying to think if there was another way around that. Maybe not, though. Alright, you know what? Now might be a good time for us to switch back to our... Our normal look. No more scouting to be done here. Let's go. There's a dude in the- do we care about this person? Probably not. Do we have to kill these people though? They're just scouts. Did you hear that? Did they hear the gunshot? The more people I kill, the more traces I'm leaving here. Archive conversation, Adrian Mueller and Tamiya Mueller. And what if they fire me? This is about our son. Would it really hurt you to ask? You know it's his dream to become a basketball player. But they already rejected his application. His official application. But you work there, you can ask Fiona. Tell her it's your son and that it's his dream. Fiona's a neurotic bitch. There's no telling how she'll react. What about how I'll react? Worry about me. Ha. Huh. They kind of see having their kid here as a meal ticket to something better. What the hell is this room? Oh yeah, I, I don't believe so. No thank you. Let's not do that. You guys ever gonna turn off the alarm or what? Fiona haven't... S is she gonna be here, Fiona? I don't know. People aren't really on edge anymore, though. I'll take all that. Thank you, thank you. Is this a scanning thingy? Shoot, there's two. The doors... See, it's all window, it's all glass here, which is why I'm a little bit like, hmm... Sorry, dudes. These were workers. I haven't decided if this place is 100% evil and completely unredeemable yet, so I feel a little bit bad about killing the workers. Synthetic skeletal muscle, 11 years old. From site 2110 to 341. This is 341. So there's like 300 plus sites where they... They groom children like this. 
groom them into taking the chrome? Shum, listen. I'd hold out with chipping in that skeletal muscle implant, because according to the latest research, it's better for the kids to recreate nerve connections after an injury, using their own muscles. Bullshit. The latest research? There is no new research apart from the kind Fiona does, and the results speak for themselves. Why waste time recreating nerve connections that you'll have to recalibrate with new muscles anyway? This week we're chipping that kid. No point waiting for another injury to happen. Mm -hmm. Athlete evaluations? MLE, age 11, mental state very good. Developmental prospects good. Opinion of Fiona? Contract signed with Atlanta Wolves. Kelvin Strickland, age 11, mental state average. Developmental prospects very good. Opinion of Fiona. Oh, like Fiona's opinion, not their opinion of Fiona. Highlight during athlete's showcase. Oh, we heard about this kid earlier. It was a second kid getting a showcase. Tommy Walker, 13. Worrying mental state, symptoms of depression despite constant AI-driven psychological care. No developmental prospects, just let him go. Angela Stein, 12. Good mental state, unoptimistic prospects, let go. Dante David, age 9, mental state good. Keep investing. Katie McCannon, 12. Very good mental state. Highlight during the showcase. Oh, that was the first kid we saw. Sulevi Hietanen, 10. Mental state depressed. Consider testosterone and antidepressants. Developmental prospects, good. Keep investing. Doesn't matter if they're depressed. We can fix them. Depressed at 10. Sigrun Steen, 11. Worrying mental state. Under constant AI supervision, specializing in behavioral psychology. Average developmental prospects. Invest if psychological therapy is successful. It's like a farm. It's like a farm here, seriously. Like a kid's athlete farm. Okay, I'll, I'll clean up after myself. I don't know why I'm sneaking anymore. The alarm is so annoying. Maybe we should just get this over with. A shooty shooty end. Call it a day. I can put two people inside, right? I think the one thing about stealth that is probably a little bit superior in terms of like story-wise, may maybe superior is not the right way to put it, but it'll give you a little bit more content in the form of additional dialogue between people, right? When everyone's on high alert, that just doesn't happen anymore. There's two people there. I don't want to alert anybody, so cyberpsychosis. Yo, it's all windows. It's all windows. Might as well just do it. Okay, I'm gonna... Um, Sonic Shock to... Was it Sh Sonic Shock to cut people off from their networks? There's two... There are two people there! Shoot, which one did I just... Okay, I didn't... That, I was gonna cyber psychosis them, but I don't even have enough RAM, actually. That's fine. Can they be baited to coming over here? Oh damn, that's bulletproof. The glass is bulletproof. Oh, hi! Whoa! Oh, that was that the guy I baited? Oh. Oh my goodness. Alright, time to get serious here. Is there another way through? No. Okay. No time for Mr. Nice Guy. Let me try... What about the Rosetsu... The Rosetsu Sniper Rifle? Here we go. Oh no, they're coming down too from above. That's the most annoying part. Okay, let's get these guys first. Who turned that back on? Come on, just...
quick cleanup. Too far? Too much? Or do I have to hold it? Do I have to charge? The charging does take a while, and the way they keep moving around doesn't help. No, I charged it. Still can't get him. All right, forget about it. On the move. I'm curious about the one person who was moving super fast and stuff. Hi! Go. Ah. They're behind glass? Bulletproof glass. I think that person is still alive. It's that person. You can commit suicide now. If you want. He's fantastic. Oh, he's a personal trainer. Maybe that's why he's so strong. Super fast dashing around. Notes for Dr. Fiona. Tell Fiona that Tommy Walker isn't fit for further training. The kid's body is either too old or too drained from mediocre implants, which slow down his regeneration. Tommy also has psychological issues, among them a low self-esteem. More importantly, in spite of decent performance on the machines, he just can't play that well. He becomes stressed during games, causing him to make one mistake after another. He needs to go. Someone with more potential ought to take his place. They're very well aware that to win a game, you need to be in good condition psychologically as well. Okay, I'll, I'll read this. Wait, who just detected me? Was it a camera? What detected me? Oh, jeez. There's another scary person up there. I'm not sure what saw me just now. Must have been a camera, I think. Same one. Yeah. I don't have the authorization. Alright. Oh, they turned back on all the cameras again. That's why this is a problem. far can I reach with the... I can't reach that far. There's a range on it, right? I don't know if it says the range here. Like, if I try the Nekomata, my old Nekomata, would it work? The Overwatch is not a... It's a power sniper rifle, it's not tech. So let me try the Nekomata again. Is that also too far? How'd I get this? Athletes dismissed due to psychological defects. Subject wallowing in apathy. Upon installing Sanivistin, the subject's neural network experienced difficulties responding to neurotransmitters. Subject does not react to selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Decision dismissed. Subject will likely suffer from chronic depression. Hmm. The next one, another 11-year-old kid. Anxiety, OCD. Resulting in issues with motivation. You know, subject has trouble sleeping and transferring neural data from long-term memories to short-term memories. Dismiss them. Alright, why don't we just get this done? I'm so sick of hearing that alarm and all that. Get the data and go. This seems promising. Oh, this is behind that same door. Anything interesting to look at here? Tommy Walker? Hi. Darn it. It's got I I was just looking for a it's Oh, it's a kid. What's your name? Tommy. How do you get in here? They let you out of your room? Well, I know a few tricks. 
My dad's a techie. He taught me a ton of stuff. Hi, Tommy. My name's V. What you doing here? You're looking for contracts. Uh, nothing. I'm just kind of here. In the director's office? Come on. I know you were looking for something. Yeah, sort of wanted to see if I got picked for a team. But oh. still no one. It's not fair. I've got all the right skills. The right chrome. I'm super duper fast. I don't like any of these. I Do I want him to get chosen? He wants to get chosen, but... Don't talk to kids much, I guess. This feels a bit band-aid-y. Your day will come. Just takes time. That's all. It's just... well... I'm getting old. You? Old? Soon no one will want me. Not even the worst teams. Dad said I can't screw up because we live in Dogtown and career in sports is our last chance. It might look like to an outside observer that they're abusing kids. And, you know, that might even objectively be true. But as the, the people in the situation, to kids much, I guess. it's their one way out of poverty and misery. Tough having that responsibility. But if it wasn't for your family, what would you want? Uh, have some fun, I guess. Or take a vacation. <laughs> That'd be neat. You're a good kid, Tommy. Know that. I know. Hey, chin up, kiddo. It'll all work out, you'll see. I mean, that looks like Fiona's terminal to me. Say, little whiz like you wouldn't know where Fiona's terminal is, would you? Need it for a sec. It's right there. Can't you see? Yeah. Well, would you look at that? Silly old me. See? I know everything. Yeah. <laughs> Clever little rascal. Now buck up and get out of here before Miss Fiona sees you. Yes, ma'am. I, I just need to find, uh, uh, that thing. You're looking for the contracts, aren't you? Are you trying to mess with something on purpose? Hold on, let me look around this room first. I don't have a authorization to get out of here. Am I gonna have to go out the way I came from? $800 lying around. What do we do about this kid? His data, his contract and all. Oh, shoot. What in the... Tommy, out now. Wait, uh, she was just looking for your office. Uh, I, I was just trying to help. Uh, please, Miss Fiona. Leave the boy out of this, please. Run along now, Tommy. Hop to it. But I didn't do nothing wrong. It's all right, Tommy. Go back to your room. We're reasonable people. I'm sure we can work something out. What is it you want? I mean, seeing Tommy and how much he wants I'm to succeed, listening. and if he did succeed, that would be his family's way out of poverty. That does give me a little bit of pause. I'm gonna go with the extreme option just to see what she'll say. Wanna burn this place to the fucking ground? A to the fucking men. I understand you're upset, but let's talk this through. You connected to a terminal containing my client's data, correct? <laughs> What do you intend to do with it? Got it backwards. I'm the one asking questions. I have a duty to protect my business and my clients. You understand that, I'm sure. Business? <laughs> the fucking gall. Think of the children. Would you really deprive them of their only chance for a better just life? Just gets better and better, this bitch. If you please, just hear me out. I'd like to make you an offer. 
the way you're giving them a better life is by abusing them though like i i <laughs> the kids will be upset but like they're literally making money off child well, abuse i'll let you talk start talking and it better make sense thank you come let me show you something i will let you show me something see this your star athletes my patience is wearing thin, Fiona. Your Mark trophies? Elway, 22 years old, exceptional basketball player. Monica Diaz, 25, ranked top 15 worldwide in tennis. And our brightest star, Al Ford. The oh, not AI Ford. <laughs> heavyweight champion at only 21 years old. Guessing I'm about to hear that this is all because of you. I helped them, me. And if you leak my clients, this center will go under and these kids' bright future darken quick. Including Tommy. His file's right here. You help me, you help him. It's a kind of cynicism that deserves a medal. Cheap plastic kind. You're using Tommy as a bargaining chip? We all have choices to make. Here's my offer. We do a controlled leak. I'll hand over the data of a few clients of secondary importance to me. Your employer wants names, transaction details. They'll get them. Everyone walks away happy. Those kids who end up on the street with post-op implant sickness. You don't think they hang their picks here too, do you? That's right. Johnny is completely right. For every Mark Elway... Let's keep this professional. We have 50 kids who are depressed, suffering the after effects of all this. These are anomalies. Remember how many sites there are. 341 at the minimum, and three star athletes. What are Tommy's chances of scoring a contract? Close to none. Out of the best players, only 15 to 20% get signed. Tommy will probably be going home. Without any scratch to maintain his chrome, regulate his organs, and keep his body functioning properly. That's how these things go. You either win big or go home. But maybe you can still help Tommy. His file doesn't have to stay on my desk. How about I take all the files? The kids, if they're truly exceptional, they'll find a way out. Let's keep this professional. Like, you know, legally at a proper chroming up at a proper age within safety limits and all that. How much are you making off these poor kids and their parents? Unlike your uh, profession, I provide chances for a better life, not for free granted. But the parents know the risks. It's in their contracts. Knowing and understanding? Two different things. Go to Night City. Look at all those kids walking the streets alone. Can you claim they're better off than our future athletes? You're a real good Samaritan, huh? Why go to all this trouble? Well, if you really want to know, it's cheaper. Not because you're chipping kids that are too young for it. Ha! <laughs> you think we're the only ones? Name me one professional athlete without implants. You can't. The earlier you start, the better long term. Sports would be a snooze fest without them. Even adults getting chromed up have risk of cyberpsychosis. We might not even have used this technology long enough to see the really far. Let's keep this professional. The long term repercussions. Do I have to make a choice immediately? Can I... Can I look at your crap first? Welcome, says Professor Rafal to Fiona. Dear Dr. Vargas, we kindly remind you that you are scheduled to give a lecture titled European Professional Sports Regulations during the annual medical conference in Warsaw next week. Your orbital flight tickets are ready for collection. European Professional Sports Regulations. Thank you. Victor to Fiona. Dear Dr. Vargas, our son just scored his fifth goal in Braga. We'll always be grateful for what you've done for our son. And in just a year, it's truly incredible. Thank you in particular for the discount on the Tibialis operation. <sighs> this, this father is selling out his son too. Like the, 
He's putting his son at risk with all the chroming up and stuff. It's not a risk-free thing. It's not just about hard work either. Yeah, if you're just training them naturally without implanting them, that might... That probably would still be kid abuse. Just because of how hard you're working them, let alone with the chrome element. Jennifer Haley, help needed. From Peter Haley. Dear Dr. Vargas, we need your help. Our daughter Jennifer Haley spent three years of her life in your facility, but unfortunately was never chosen for a contract. I make no secret of the fact that our family's financial situation doesn't permit us to cover the costs of Jennifer's medication. As you're well aware, without her medication, the modifications you've given her will cause her to suffer. A 16-year-old girl shouldn't have to experience cluster headaches or kidney stones. I'm begging for your help. I'm not asking for money. Only for medication to stop my daughter from being in pain. Look, this is like every other kid. And then... She doesn't reply personally. Dr. Thomas Harper replies, Dear Mr. Haley, I'm an assistant to Dr. Vargas and I'm answering on her behalf. I'd like to remind you that the parents of every child who enrolls in our program is informed of the potential health risks that may arise from our cyber modifications. Both you and your wife signed an agreement in which you waived the right to file any financial claims in connection with your child's potential health issues in exchange for free room and board, training and modification for your child for, as you yourself pointed out, a three-year duration. The possibilities and risks were known to you. I wish you and your child health and prosperity, and ask that you please stop harassing our esteemed Dr. Fiona Vargas, or we will take legal action. You motherfuckers, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Invitation to Gozo, from Bertu Bravina to Fiona. Fiona, you're cordially invited to the town of Kala on the Maltese island of Gozo. It would be an enormous honor if you would find the time to pay us a visit and share your thoughts on the site we've built here. We would like to be up and running by next year and are currently scouting athletes who might join us. You know how much I value your opinion and experience and I'm prepared to compensate you for it as well. No need to worry about the heat. We'll make sure you're as comfortable as possible. So she's reaping all the benefits and the, the fame and the glory while these kids, 16 year old, cluster headaches. But I, I also see the other side of it. If you're poor, if you're dirt poor and you have no way out, you're gonna do the thing that needs to be done, which is to send your kid. Jenkins tendons. Yeah, send your kid to one of these things so that your family has some way out of this predicament. So it's despicable, but I absolutely do see how it happens. Like when you're poor, people who are poor have nothing to lose. They've got nothing and they can't lose anything. We're not signing Tommy. Let's keep this professional. Even if he gets signed, he's not gonna win. Cause she's already determined that she he just isn't that good. Had it up to here with your cynical bullshit. Get me access to that data. N no need to get emotional. Uh let's be professional about this. Shut up and grant me access. You'll be destroying everything I've built. That's a fucking idea. Access now. Fine. Here. Should we kill her? We just go. <sighs> Let me download the data first. And then I'll think about it. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna check out what this was. Oh, it's just the bathroom. I'm not sure if Mr. Hands would be happy about this because the initial ask was due to... It was something about tax evasion. It wasn't out of a sense of moral justice. So if we wreck this place too much, he might not be happy about it. But he didn't say we couldn't wreck it. Baird might give me some crap. You'll regret this sooner than you think. Really? Data received. It's time you made your exit. Let's not make this any longer than it needs to be, shall we? It's the same stuff we saw earlier. Shopping list, athletes requests, video games. Request denied. Negative impact on neural development. They can only read biographies of sports athletes and historical figures. Request granted. By the way, order more stimulants from the usual list, and some muscle relaxants too. 
Okay, so she says I'm gonna regret it. I will leave her alive so we can see what I'll regret. I could just kill you, but... Just leave, please! I'm gone. I will see what I'll regret. Not very clean, though. Leaving a whole bunch of people alive. Leaving the main person alive. So this is it? That's it? Is this it? They are very fast. Whoa, there's some like wall climbing over there. All units Okay, I gotta... Okay, this little pistol ain't cutting it. We have to gotta do something a little bit more. I gotta aim a little bit better with the revolver. Oh, damn, like he's his clothes are falling out and stuff. Did the cyber psychosis kill people? No fucking cowards in my squad. On my way. Position lost. Is this what I'm regretting? Ooh, he's very fast. They're both very fast. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Well, I changed my mind. Can I go back in? Is that what I'm regretting? You guys call people here pretty fast though, I'll give you that. Finally. <laughs> Here's a key card. Should have let her, you know, feel that a little bit more. All right. Now we're going. Probably still had it a little easy. God, Night City sometimes makes me feel like a freaking psychopath. But I feel like you have to be a little bit crazy here. You do, to live in a place like this, to keep yourself balanced. Obviously, I try. Whoa, that's dark. What the hell is happening here? Yeah, of course, I try to be a good person wherever I can, but Night City consistently forces you to rethink that line of thought. This is what I've been finding. And like, I, I just gotta- it brings up some survival instincts in me, where I'm thinking, well, you know what? I'd love to help you, but I gotta worry about myself and the people around me, and so I can't worry about you, and I just gotta- I just gotta make the decision right for me. Okay, we're in some construction area. Hey! No hate! I'm out of here. Nicely done, V. Thanks to you, our Europeans can make sure tax evaders don't go unpunished. Who's this client who cares so much about taxes? The EEC only wants what it is owed. As they pay well, I'm only happy to oblige. Closing this contract. He cares less than we thought. Yeah. We're precise people. He's a fixer. He outlined his contract. He said, do this thing. I did the thing. Nothing else matters. So I guess it's all fine. Ooh, that felt pretty icky. 